What is the time response of an overdamped second order control system to a unit step input? Hello, my name is Rishi Ranju, and welcome to the Backwinch Engineering community, where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What is the time response of an overdamped second order control system to a unit step input? Well, let's run out. So, we know for a fact that in the case of a second order control system, the transfer function is given as T of S is equal to C of S divided by R of S, which is equal to omega n squared divided by S squared plus 2 zeta omega n S plus omega n squared. But in the case of an overdamped second order control system, the value of this particular zeta is greater than 1. So here, the value of zeta is greater than 1. So here now, in this particular denominator, let us now factorize this particular denominator. So here, for this particular quadratic equation, the roots are given by the formula. Let's say if the roots are S1 and S2, then they're given by the formula minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Basic 9th standard mathematics. So by applying the coefficients of this particular quadratic equation in this particular equation, we would get the roots of this particular quadratic equation. So therefore, substituting the coefficients of this particular quadratic equation over here, we would get the roots as S1 is equal to zeta omega n minus omega n into root of zeta squared minus 1 and S2 is equal to zeta omega n plus omega n into root of zeta squared minus 1. So these are the two zeros of this particular quadratic equation. So now in 9th standard mathematics we have learned that if we have the two zeros S1 and S2 then this particular quadratic equation can be written as S plus S1 into S plus S2. So therefore the transfer function C of S by R of S would become equal to omega n squared divided by S plus S1 into S plus S2. So here, since we are giving a unit step signal as the input, we know for a fact that a unit step signal is given as u of t is equal to 1 for t is greater than or equal to 0. So therefore the input R of t is given as 1 for t is greater than or equal to 0. So if r of t is equal to 1, on taking the Laplace transform, we would get r of s is equal to 1 by s. So therefore, substituting this r of s over here, we would get c of s is equal to 1 by s multiplied by omega n squared divided by s plus s1 into s plus s2. So now, in order to find the time response of this particular control system, all we have to do is find the inverse Laplace transform of this particular C of S. So to find the inverse Laplace transform, we have to now split this using partial fractions. So upon splitting this with partial fractions, we would get this is equal to A by S plus B by S plus S1 plus C by S plus S2. So now upon taking the LCM and now equating the numerator terms on both these sides, we would get three equations. Upon solving the three equations, we would get the value of A, B and C. So now upon solving the values of A, B and C, we would get the value of A is equal to 1 and the value of B is equal to minus omega n divided by 2 root of zeta squared minus 1 into 1 by S1 and the value of C is equal to omega n divided by 2 root of zeta squared minus 1 into 1 by S2. This is simple mathematics. If you want to know how we can solve this equation, I've explained it in detail in the previously uploaded three videos. Please do watch it. But by using the simple concept of mathematics, we can find the values of A, B, and C as follows. So now, upon substituting these three values over here in this particular equation, we would get the value of C of S as C of S is equal to 1 by S, that is A by S, minus omega n divided by s1 into s plus s1 into 2 root of zeta squared minus 1 plus omega n divided by s2 into s plus s2 into 2 root of zeta squared minus 1. So now upon taking the inverse Laplace transform, we would now get the value of c of t is equal to c of t is equal to 1 minus 
omega n divided by 2 root of zeta squared minus 1 the whole multiplied by e raised to minus s1 t divided by s1 minus e raised to minus s2 t divided by s2. This thus is simply the time response of an over damped second order control system to a unit step input. Very simple guys. So this thus is the time response of an over damped second order control system to a unit step input. As simple as that guys, there is nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what you refer to as the time response of an over damped second order control system to a unit step input. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We will be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.